Hey, what's going on? Jeff Ratcliffe here. It's fantasy football draft season, and you know, one of the biggest questions I get asked at this time of year, which player do I prefer? Pick a player, player A or player B. And right now, one of the debates that I'm seeing commonly, in terms of running back twos with upside, pick a player, Alex Collins or Jay Ajayi, who do we prefer there? So you're digging a little bit deeper here, but hey, you're not gonna win your league with just your first couple picks. You gotta make those picks down the board that count, and this could be one of them if you're choosing between these two players. So let's talk about Alex Collins. Coming off a breakout year, you know, he sort of was stuck a little bit low on that depth chart in Seattle, didn't have an opportunity to perform, but got that opportunity with the Ravens last year. He was the lead back for most of the season. Ended up finishing 20th in PPR, so, you know, maybe not the highest number there, but consider this. Number 10 in fantasy scoring in PPR from weeks 11 to 16. So down the stretch, when you're trying to win your fantasy championship, Alex Collins was a factor for a lot of teams out there. He averaged 2.98 yards after contact per attempt. Now, if you don't know that number at Pro Football Focus, we're looking at all sorts of different metrics to gauge player performance. Yards after contact is a number that, that tells you how effective these guys are independent of their blocking. And at the NFL level, 3.0, that's an elite number. So he was just under that number. Collins did a great job of creating on his own last year. And really, again, he's in the driver's seat to be the lead back in that backfield. Kenneth Dixon doesn't look like that's gonna work out. Buck Allen's more of a passing down back, so it's gonna be a lot of Collins this year. So what about Jay Ajayi? I mean, this is a guy we know. He has multiple 200 yard games under his belt over the course of his career. Of course, they came with Miami, and last year, halfway through the season, he's traded to Philly. Now, a lot of people out there are gonna tell you they're concerned about his workload, but you have to look a little bit closer at how Philly used him. Yes, first week in, in the building, he had eight touches, but we progressively saw that number increase down the stretch, so that in, in the conference championship for the Eagles, Ajayi touched the ball 20 times. You know, in the playoffs, he averaged 16 touches per game. And if you're looking at 16 to 20 touches per game with Jay Ajayi, I mean, that is certainly something that, that is encouraging for me. I know people out there are going to be concerned about Corey Clement as, uh, as a guy who's going to take some touches away. But, you know, again, if we look at Clement's touches, Clement's touches went down as Ajayi was integrated into the offense. That's really what that was. It wasn't that the Eagles traded for this guy to be a committee back. They wanted to integrate him into the, into the offense. Now he has a full offseason under his belt, and I do expect him to be the lead back. I do expect Corey Clement to be the handcuff, not a committee back with Jay Ajayi. Of course, Darren Sproles is going to be there to get some passing down work. Ajayi also, he gets to play on a very good team as the defending Super Bowl champion behind arguably the league's best offensive line. So it's close here. Collins coming off that breakout year with a lot of excitement. Ajayi, maybe not as much excitement, but in a very good situation. So who am I choosing if I have my choice? I'm gonna go with Jay Ajayi. I know it's super close here, and I really wouldn't talk you out of Collins, but if I have this decision, it's gonna be Ajayi. It's gonna touch the ball a ton for the Eagles this year, and the Eagles obviously are a very good team. Now the ball will spread around, so it's not like he's gonna be a 350 touch guy, but is he 250 to 300? Very likely, and where you're getting him in drafts, that's a very good value. So who do you like? If you had to choose Alex Collins or Jay Ajayi, why don't you tell us in the comments below, hit that like button and subscribe for more video content from us. And by the way, go check out all the fantasy goodness at profootballfocus.com.